Hi, Cindy. Can you hear me, Cindy? Oh boy, people are joining. Oh, I'm nervous. Can you hear me? Can you comment if you can hear me? Unique, can you comment if you can hear me? I just need someone to comment if they can hear me. Can you please comment if you can hear me? Great, thank you, Candice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Candice. Okay. Oh. I can't see. Okay, there's three people. All right, that's great. Okay, how many pages do I have to read today? Does anyone know how I can like squish myself in that corner? something nope, I don't know how um, well maybe I'm just gonna lay it like this so that I don't show because I don't really want to show anyway <laughs> Are you here, Postal? Postal and K. You guys already know the book, ha ha. I hope I don't miss Robert's class because I really don't want to miss Robert's class. You read it on Robert's K. I don't know how to do it. I want to. I want my face to be in that corner, but I'm not tech savvy. Um, let's see, sticker, effects, flip camera, mirror your video. That's not it. Nope, not sticker. Effects. Mm, I am so bad. <laughs> mm, okay, that's fine, but I don't like that. Um... Boo. Boo to my non-tech savvy self. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, I'm reading the book tonight. Oh, okay, well, here I am. But, okay, I don't know. Oh, that's what it is. I'm nervous. I am nervous. It's my first day. Every time I flick the book, I keep flickering in and out, and I don't want to do that. I wish I could just be in that corner, but should I probably ask Robert how to do it? Boo. Wow, you talked about prayer. How did you know I was doing a prayer? Um... I can start off with Fatia. Fatia is the opening of the seal. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Al-Medin Iyaka Nabudu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihidina Sarat Al-Mustakim Sarat Razina Namta Alayhim Gira Maktubi Alayhim Wa Lasdalin Amin What? I am nervous I'm about to pee myself Um Sorry if I flicker in and out. I don't know how to squish myself into that corner. Um, if anybody is tech savvy, they can tell me before I start. Because I don't like showing anyway because I'm shy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go. All right. So this is not really for you guys because you guys already know the book, but thank you for your support. <laughs> In the name of the preeminent, all merciful. I'm reading fascicule number one. The text of this book comprises all the sacred books. You will find the genuine human in this book. This is the sole intercontinental book. It has been dictated by the universal powers with assistance of divine codes. All the divine books until today were the enlightenment books of genuine enlightened guides who came from the path of light. These books were dictated from the channel, from the same channel. Now during this last age, as a result of a necessity seen, it was thought indispensable that all our royal friends should assemble under one roof. Thus, this book is your genuine friend, your genuine brother, sister, because it is being dictated by our essence, brothers and sisters. I really don't like this flickering thing. Um, enhanced voice effect, sound effect. I don't know what that means. I'm going to try something different where my face does not show at all. And I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Don't care if you don't see me. It's not about me. It's about the book. Hi, pretty missy. Okay. During this difficult time of your world, everyone has gained a cosmic awareness. We are sure that our Raw friends who have gained this cosmic consciousness will comprehend the true nature of this book very quickly. Your world has opened to the universe. The universe has been opened to the world. The texts that are dictated are being disseminated to the entire universe chapter by chapter. Gates of worship are the sole gates of God. There is no discrimination there. No matter where you are, always his inextinguishable son is a light in all of us. The Lord of all of us is single, that is, we are all his children. For this reason, with the command of the single Lord, the entire universe is being made to assemble under one roof. I wanted to touch on that a little bit because if you can see these disagreeable beings that are on this planet, they also can foretell the days and times and the signs of times. So they always try to get ahead of the narrative they always try to take control of the story before it unfolds. Um, just like with this fake alien shooting thing, you already know that they never did that. But they know that there is a, there's a contact that is coming. There's a disclosure that is coming. So they try to get ahead of it and they try to control the narrative. So with this said, that we're all going to unify under one roof, one God, one people, one conscious knowledge... They already had planned the new world order, which is under one government system, under your so-called God. And so I just wanted to touch on that just so that you know, that, so that you don't confuse the two for anyone else that doesn't know, that they do try to get ahead of the narrative. They try to control the narrative um, so that when the actual one does happen, people do, do not want to participate because people have been bamboozled by the fake one. All the same. Your world is being prepared for 
very grueling conditions. Those who are conscious of this know that if we extend our brotherly, sisterly hands with love to everyone, these hands will never be refused. Our God never sent us to the world for us to divide it. This terror will be transformed to, uh, to heaven one day by all our human brothers and sisters. We hope to meet one day in our brotherly, sisterly world. The code of Alpha is the sole channel that has received the command to notify everything with clarity. This book will explain, from the learning point of view, the subjects that you all know or do not know yet for everyone to comprehend better. Do not forget that all the books revealed from the Enlightenment channel had been revealed from the firmament plane. These sacred books are the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Psalms of David, the religions of the Far East, and the Quran. The actual goals of these sacred books are to give a message to our human brothers and sisters in the light of learning. However, those sacred books were later deviated from their actual goals and were degenerated. Now, all the books between the first book and the last book are unified in this book, and it has been bestowed on the universe as the single sacred book. We are sure that the flowers of the flowery paths we are treading will no longer wither, for we are assured. These sacred books have enlightened you until today have prepared you for a certain medium, this is the most honest step you will take towards the path of love, friendship, and brotherhood. Do not forget that the spirit has neither age, nor gender, nor nationality. Holy Jesus Christ, Holy Moses, Holy Muhammad were each one's universal brothers. They were sent with the command that they should assemble their terrestrial brothers and sisters together and to enlighten them have long passed those difficult periods in which they lived. Do not ever forget that we are no more in the century of the Middle Ages. In this space age, humankind has already egos. Genuine humans will undertake the power of the cosmos. The land of angels and terror will be connected by a chain of progression. The tongues will tell the truth, will, who tell the truth will at the same time be masters of miracles. From now on, the meaning of the words will come, will become chain of thought. Everyone will know who she, he is and will shed light on the degenerated society. 10. Ultimately, everyone will be brothers and sisters. So our emblem is the OMK. So the O is for Allah, Almighty, the Absolute. M for Muhammad Mustafa, all emissary. K for Kertarik, Savior, Holy Jesus Christ. The triangle of Mevlana is tied to mount to the triangle of the universe. The Law of the Universe, Chapter 1. 1. The power of this divine realm, forming the order of the administration of the entire cosmos, originates from the single God. 2. The supreme of all of us is Him. We do not recognize any supreme one other than Him. The Supreme One who is the light of the heavens has created everyone equal and judges equally. The divine order at the sacred places is under the control of all the galaxies. The law of the of universe is valid for every galaxy. There is unity and togetherness. We give what we take and we know what we will give. That is our essence, our life force. Answer is given collectively to the power of heavens. Might is from him. The place from where the Quran was revealed and the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Psalms of David, and the religions of the Far East were dictated is here. It has been like this in every era. There is no privilege. Divine commands are always given to the entire universe for enlightenment and evolvement. During the transition beyond evolvement, other gates are open for the residents of the galaxy. They are taught secrets they do not know. Our skill is conscience, and it provides an equilibrium that never fails. It decides what to do and what not to do for those who are evolved. The administrators at the top are responsible only for the professional, not the ethical order. The book is single. The conscience is single. The order is single. To those who need help, the automatic alarm gives signal for help. That is, God sees you. 
This is a divine order established by God. Without discrimination, we run to the help of everyone, to those who are in genuine depression. Our order does not want anyone to be unhappy. Happiness is our purpose. In gardens in which seeds of love are sown, flowers that have never been seen bloom. Your third eye is the secret that gives the aroma to those flowers. Provided you gain this power of yours, you solve all the secrets. Now, remember, it says this power of yours. That means that you already have the power. You just have to tap into it. You're not searching anywhere. You're not trying to go take anybody's power. You already have the power. Your third eye is already your third eye. You just have to activate it. You can see Robert for that. Helping hands have been extended to your world for those who... For we are all brothers and sisters. We want to surmount your difficult periods together. You are a planet destroying itself unawarely. At first, humankind has been taken in hand. We try to transform your negative powers to positive ones. The goal is to, unif the goal is to find the genuine human within you to create the human from human. We are sowing seeds of love within you. During this period, you become genuine humans by passing beyond religious rules. You are being regenerated. We always help our missionaries who have cooperated with us. Your depressions, your sickness, and fears are caused by the imbalance of your conscious scale. Only you are responsible for this. The alms you give for your personal benefit will not save you. Humankind has such a potential that it dies the moment it wants and resurrects the moment it wants. Seek and find this secret potential box of yours. Overcome your sicknesses without medicine. We can heal ourselves with our eye, with our mind, with our third eye, if we activate it, if we align ourselves with our higher selves. Basically, that's what the book is saying. If we tap into our higher self, gain God consciousness, and become universal beings, literally, we can do anything. We can get rid of all our sicknesses, we can get rid of all our depressions and more. You have regulated your life not according to yourself, but according to others. Your frustrations are due to this. This attitude of yours obstructs your universal channel. This is your nine to fives, people. This is your nine to fives. This is your social structure that you have allowed to rule over you. If you're not following your sole purpose, if you're not aligned with your spiritual purpose, with your destiny, you fall into depression because then your channels that are connected to the universe for ascension, for downloads is blocked because you're so caught up in busy being under Satan's yoke. God creates each of his servants single. She, he is a free spirit, a free conscience. No one is the servant of anyone else. Mutual respect is imperative. Gender discrimination exists only in your galaxy. This astonishes us. In this respect, evolvement is necessary for you. No one can violate the rights of others. This predestination is of God. Only God has the right to, to do whatever he wants to do with all of us. We don't have a right to harm another human being. We don't have a right to, to put down another human being. We don't have a right to dictate another human being's life. The power possessed by everyone is present in everyone, only if you can develop the, that ability of yours. Servants of God choose your options themselves. Ultimately, they themselves are again responsible for everything. We are connected only to God. The key of our happiness is in the hand of our conscience. This is the same in all galaxies in which the law of the universe is valid. The sounds you hear are the spiral waves far beyond the frequencies of your, ear, your ears. These are only heard by those who can hear them. Sorry about that. The clarity in your view is possible only by the opening of your third eye on this path. Then you can see the unseen. God has created you and you will create yourself. This is a rule of the evolution tableau. This period that you call the final period, we call the golden age. 
During the Golden Age, books on all kinds of subjects will be dictated according to the, their frequencies and wavelengths to all humans who can receive the perception. The books you will write will be the marks that symbolize your evolvement paths. Gates of unknown knowledge will be opened to the world human. Missionaries are obliged to propagate these to society. Every gate is open. All arms are open. There is no secrecy. Many secrets are there for those who seek. So, uh, you have a book Yeah. Oh, there is a book for two? I booked. The library? No, they told me not booked. I booked from 8.30. Sorry, um, give me a second. I booked from eight, um, 6.30 to 8.30. Law of the Universe, Chapter 2. Do not refuse the hands extended to you. Do not extinguish the fire of your spirit. Project the order of the dome of cosmos on your order. The greatest gift for you is your sincere heart. You will reap the good results on this path. If superiority is within you, fear. If you are within superiority, do not fear. This is your ego and your pride. You have to understand that there's only one that is superior and that is the almighty, the absolute. And we are all within the almighty, the absolute. We are all fractal beings of the almighty, the absolute. Therefore, nobody has power over you, nor do you have power over anyone. Equality, love, unity, respect is what is needed. Go from nothingness to allness and from allness to nothingness. Then you will find a path of light. There are so many more lights to be shed on your earth. Do not ever forget this. Missionaries who will guide and assist you in the framework of the given commands will be sent. Our friends whom we trust are always assured. Special suggestions will be given to those who will receive the might of heavens from mighty people. Utterances will unify with utterances. Salutations will unify with salutations. To the missionaries who will reap the reward of their perseverance, everything will be explained. All the secrets will be notified. Other civilizations will develop the course of events of your civilization. Humankind will know the measure of its might, will see its own self, will suffer as the law commands. Even though humankind, seeing the source of divine light, consider itself deceived according to its own standard, it will never regret it. This is how we have to decondition our mind. Like We have to decondition our mind because when the information is coming in, we're still thinking, nah, that's false because we're conditioned in a certain way, whether religion or, or education or society, we're conditioned in a certain way. You know, let it all go. Empty your cup and fill your cup anew. Each friend who wants to be accepted to the secret cities behind the ramparts, these suggestions will be made by the command of the center. Those who will be sovereign will be dressed in special garments, and with these garments it will be understood which medium of power they come from. During periods of mobilization, everybody will telepathically be in con contact with each other. This will occur automatically. The one who does not know love cannot gather the flowers. The one who does not remove the gum from his or her eyes cannot see the colors. Try to pass your powers beyond the walls of your spirit. Transcend your own selves. I believe he's talking about the human body and, and, and this matrix. You have to transcend that. That which seems like advice to you is our goodwill. You are the ones to gain. No matter how powerful you are, you will always find an, op an unopened gate in front of you. Do not let it intimidate you. Let it stimulate you. You all up for the challenge? We help everyone who knocks on our gate. There is no personal benefit in our service. With the dispersion of the density, great powers will come to humankind. Ooh, this 3D world is so dense. Before time catches up with you, you try to catch the time. You can make the intergalactic communications through your mediators. Your fears are groundless. There is no reason for fear, especially when everything is an illusion. 
Intermediary groups will provide the corporations with our missionaries who will get the reward for their perseverance. The cover of secret is not opened at once. When the time comes, we will declare them one by one. Power will be added each passing day to the power in everyone, and the length of the rings will come to us. Each passing day, we're getting more and more powerful. We're waking up more and more, like we're being engrafted in our sleep. You know? Like the rays, the cosmic rays that are coming in is heavy. I remember last week, yo, I swear, I thought my eyes were going to pop out. Like, I was talking to Missy. My, I, I just couldn't. I couldn't. I had to go to sleep. My eyes, my head, oh dear. The more powerful the way awaiting is, the more powerful the transition beyond light will be. Your physical constitutions are being reinforced. While humankind purifies itself, it also purifies the universe. Know this thus. You are also the ones who will block the light of the heavens. Your, your purification is our pride. The ring around your galaxy is getting narrower each passing day. You need oxygen. You may have difficulty breathing. Take precautions beginning from now. You are being prepared for periods that will be harder and more difficult than ever. Get to know your memory well. Everything will be notified to you. We will introduce and tell you about yourselves. Ooh, I want to know about me. Messages you receive beyond religion are your involvement keys. Currents oriented by moral powers can even shift the axis of galaxies in the universe. Do not disparage yourselves. Do not underrate your power. Sorry, uh, do you mind me? I don't mind, but I have to be reading. It's okay, it's okay. okay, that's fine. You possess everything in the name of the Almighty, the Absolute. Unlock your lock without a locksmith. Poof. Unlock your lock without a locksmith. Like today I was meditating and I was like, I want to know myself. I want to wake up my third eye, blah, 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 blah. And I was just doing that. And I was just chanting infinite love, infinite tolerance, um, infinite humility over and over again. Everything he has created, first of all, you, this beautiful instrument, comprises the secrets of the entire universe. You will open and solve these secrets yourselves. And all these secrets are inside of you. The secret of the universe is in every single creation of the Almighty, the Absolute. All of us, all of us. If you know yourself, you know the universe. If you know the universe, you know yourself. From the allness to the nothingness. And then back to the allness, right? In everything he has created, there is love and beautifulness. We are only a group of intermediaries who shed light on you. We are your friends. Humankind that possesses the power present, present in everyone is on a single planet that has completed its evolution. During this examination period, you are not alone. We are beside you. We are your brothers and sisters. We have come to find you who are our brothers and sisters. The more intense your problems are, the easier your solutions will be. Do not forget that sadness is the key that opens your brain coat. Because in the moment of sadness, you surrender to the will of the Almighty and then you ask for guidance. Your essence, your true essence is humbled. Whenever we go through situations, our essence is humbled. Our ego is knocked off. Our pride is knocked off and our essence is open. Our consciousness is open and it asks its creator for help. And that is when we get real divine help because we're, we're not doing it, you know, superficially. We, we're deep into that problem that we're seeking for real solution. That's when the universe, the most high answers us. Advice is nice, but it causes others to turn their back on you. Gold attracts, dome repels. If it is asked which power is more powerful... It is the spiral sounds governing them all. If you look at the yin and yang, and if you look at everything that exists, if you look at energy, energy is always in a spiral motion. All of us are in a spiral motion. The wind is in a spiral motion. All frequencies are in a spiral motion. That is a law that, is, that governs everything that exists. The lessons humankind will learn during this period will be the eye of its essence. 
Do not struggle in vain. Wait. You need quiescence during this period. Time bears the knowledge within time. Take them. Achieve evolvement. Nothing happens without a reason. The reason that creates a reason is always born from the results. So, let me read that again. Nothing happens without a reason. The reason that creates the reason is always born from the results. Yin and yang again. In every problem, there's a solution. The solution is inside the problem. There is no situation that is bad. Every situation has its purpose. Are you to learn from it? In darkness, you can pull the light. You have to learn from what the you have to learn what what the lesson is from that situation. The the solution is always in the problem, right? That's why you should not allow situations to to to, to depress you, to make you to make you feel bad about yourself, to make you doubt yourself, to make you you know go wayward, to make you become an addict of some sort, to make you take your life. Because in every situation, there's light. And the situation is there so that you will get that solution out of it. And once you get that solution, you apply it, you evolve to another level. And now you hold that secret and somebody else may come along who may be going through that situation. It could be your child and you'd be like, hey, this is what you're going through. Guess what? I have the formula. Why? Because I solved that equation. Right? If you look at equation, that's why there's an equal sign. They put the problem on the left side. And the solution on the right side. But guess what the equal sign is? The left side is equal to the right side. It's the same thing, just expressed differently. So don't ever fear problems. Don't ever fear situations. It's meant for you to evolve. Right? It's meant for you to evolve. All right. Messages dictated to you until today were for smoothing the roughness on your path of evolvement. The expounding of the messages after this should be evaluated very correctly. For example, if we say, if you know this, you are a sea. If you say it, you are an ocean. The divine light of the years is with you. The fire of your heart is in you. Message, some messages are written as codes and solved as riddles. Those who know the secrets are seas. Those who talk about them are oceans. They have received the divine light through the evolvement of the years, have themselves become divine lights. This is on the path. The path is to preach, not preach. Preach is not a good word. It is to teach and enlighten others in society. You're not supposed to stand there in a pulpit, getting all the glory for having a certain message. You're supposed to be sitting on the ground, squatted with everybody else, and giving them the message so that you can light up their light, so that they can also find their path, so that they can also evolve. You're not superior above, above anybody. You're only meant to kindle people's light so that they can also shine light and also shine lights in their society to the other people as well, right? You're not supposed to be standing there taking all the glory, making it look like you are the only one that receives some divine knowledge. No, we're not going anywhere unless we're all going, you know? No man is free unless we're all free. But despite everything, their hearts are on fire with humility this is what we call the genuine human. Exactly what I just said. You have to be humble all the time. Don't matter how much you know. If you check out all the prophets, when they actually gained prophethood, all of them were extremely humble. Some were even hungry <laughs> at some point. Some were starving in the deserts at some point. You know? The one who knows the secret of the might drains the water from his or her bowl. Know your might so that mightier ones may come to you. Poof. Whoever cannot adjust himself, herself to the medium she, he is in, for him or her, the path of moral hope will always be closed. The instrument of the servant whose sincerity is augmented with sincerity will always play. To those who will ask the sovereign goddess about the grand tent of the preeminent ones, a plaque with a symbol of happiness at its edge will be given. Happy is the person who compares gold with sand. Oh, you caught that? 
Happy is the person who compares gold with sand. You have to find value in everything. Either everything is valuable or nothing is valuable. Pick one, but nothing is above the other. And you have to be happy in all situations. Purification is peculiar to the purified ones, superiority to the inferior ones, and inferiority to the superior ones. The one who receives his or her might from beyond superiority, his or her power from God, and who finds himself, herself, in his or herself, is the one who receives the degree. We evaluate our friends who have grasped, who have a grasp of the power of heavens according to the sultanate degree, and we make them achieve liberation. The law of the universe continues. Chapter 3. The greatest sin is the enmity of the human towards another human. How can you even hate another human, you know? The most esteemed servant of God is the one who does not make distinctions between religions. If you understand that there is only one superior being, God the absolute Allah, then you will understand that all messages, all religion, all spiritual knowledge was just for our involvement. Therefore, you do not say somebody's is wrong and somebody's is right. You go through the school of thought. Just go through the school and upgrade yourself. God will always shed light on the genuine humans who change during the changing age. We will always extend our helping hands to friends who will be awakened in time, within time. Your goodwill cuts into two, like a sword, the negative currents around you. So whenever we do good, Anything that is negative is cut into two away from us, like it's spliced away from us. And not even just doing good, thinking good as well, you know? The one who will choose between his or her options is humankind itself. When the time comes, the good news will reach it. The light, the divine light of the heavens will one day dawn on you. Those who believe in this will be reunited and will see everything. The Lord is the architect of the universe and the son of the land of the mighty ones. Sorry, hold on. The honesty of your faith will file down the roughness on your paths. The happiness of your heart will be the foundation of the divine order. The Lord is the architect of the universe and the son of the land of the mighty ones. That is the light of Allah. The offerings pass through the path of light. If purification, if purification does not occur in the essence, then it does not occur in the eye either. The opening of your third eye is the first light leading you to evolvement. And part of your third eye is not just about seeing spiritual stuff and going to space. It's also being able to discern right from wrong. It's also being able to choose the righteous path, you know. Because a lot of people still following the government, believing in the government when, you know, <laughs> clearly the government is our disagreeable beings. So discernment is part of your third eye awakening. If purification does not occur in the essence, then it does not occur in the eye either. The opening of your third eye is the first light leading you to involvement. The period of superstitions has come to an end and the gates of the school of spiritual insight of heavens have opened for humankind that has come conscious in the light of science. Sermons delivered from your heavens create a bond binding those who love each other. They are delivered from a progression tantamount to the speed of light. The declaration of the firmament to the earth forms the links added to the chain of evolvement. The purification of everyone is connected to his or her faith in himself or herself Pearls are always picked from the beds of tranquilly flowing flowers, no, rivers. The faith of a human in his or her God will assist him, her to complete his or her final era. Humankind will give and convey his or her assurance to others. The medium it trusts will give it greater assurances. On this path, one goes to liberation. Everyone will supervise his or her own, his or her own self and will see his or her evolvement will pass him, her through the gate of the firmament. Humankind will see everything in a tangible way 
through science, will solve all the events on the path of logic and will unravel the knots in its mind. Provided that you get rid of mystical thoughts, your purity will be even more purified and your thoughts will attain clarity. The medium you are in has left the centuries behind and sheds light on the future. The Quran is the continuation of all the religious books and these dictated texts are also the continuation of it. Liberations will be equally distributed according to the maturity seen in everyone. You will personally feel this. Each religion is a mission given to an enlightening guide who sheds light on the society she or he is in. The missionary is compelled and commissioned to present the knowledge she or he receives from his or her own medium. Allah is preeminent. He is the God of the medium he is in. He is single. The Lord is the light who gives direction to the course of events of the entire universe. The energy he has is present in every living being that exists. We are his actual servants. For this reason, we feel him in our inner selves. He knows everything, and that energy notifies us to certain mediums. That energy is single and is the Almighty, the Absolute. Each one of us is a fragment of him. We can never be parted. He is the architect of the entire universe. He can be contained neither in the universe nor in thought. The final gate will always remain closed. We are obliged to give you the commands we receive. The commands are the links of chains given from beyond light. To unify you with the links is our mission. These commands follow a succession outside the time unit. Evolvements are completed even at the medium where you receive the messages. When one passes beyond it, one is connected to the speed of light. Ooh. Sincerity of heart is worth all the religious books. Sin and good deed, good deed are the measurements of its scale. The good news to be given will be a light, a divine light to you, and will open the gates of faith. Get rid of the suspicions within your heart. Supervise yourself. You will see how you will mature by being dissolved in time, and you will choose the correct path. This supervision of yourself, yo, like, I've been going through it. Like, I'm literally conscious of my thoughts. You know, I'm monitoring my thoughts. Like, I don't even allow negative to creep in. Like, if a negative thought comes in, I'm like, yo, you're not welcome. And I literally rep replace it with, like, three positive thoughts. Like, right off the back. You have to supervise yourself. You have to supervise your frequency. You know, you have to have something that you're chanting within yourself. If you're not, like, doing a particular task that um, requires you to engage with someone, you have to have, like, a particular chant. Like I said, today I was doing I'm um, infinite love, infinite tolerance, infinite humility. And I was just going through that in my head over and over and over again. And then I drifted off to sleep, you know. Grains will become molds. And in time, molds will become whole. With love to the love in essence hearts, from the land of the loving ones, I commit you to my God. The message given by Mustafa Mola from the Central System, written by Mevlana, the pen of the Golden Age. Okay, let's read a Tophi of Eunice. Beat the root of penitence with the leaf of pardon, and the martyr of the heart with the pestle of oneness. Sift it through the sieve of mercy. Cook it on the fire of love. With the honey of affection, eat it morning and evening with the finger of contentment. Yusuf Amory. <sighs> okay. In today's medium, the connections with space are kept secret due to numerous drawbacks. We have given the authorization to mention us only to dear Mevlana. The code of Alpha is the direct code of the Lord. All the knowledge given from there is authentic and correct. All your religious books were 
revealed from here. The period you call the period of resurrection, we call the period of awakening. And consider it as the beginning of the golden age. The beginning is never outside the medium. It proceeds tantamount to the flow of your time. Our effort is to save our old friends in the light of this book. We are friend, friendly hands who provide a connection between the firmament and the earth. Our helping hands are extended to you in this manner. Those who comprehend us will come to us. Friends will reunite with friends, and the divine light of Allah will flow onto you. Light. Okay, let me see. It is very important. Frequency codes have been established in the entire universe due to the increase in the six senses. Mission allotments have been made by measuring everyone's megawatt powers. Those who receive or will receive these messages will be sent to you. No one should force anyone else. Only read the messages for the time being. Those who, who desire will keep notebooks. Now we would like to talk to you more clearly. You are the codes who were prepared centuries ago, so, and now have been sent to give direction to this beautiful world of yours as servants created by our Allah. Anyone that is reading this book or hearing this message, you have to understand that you are the codes that were prepared centuries ago. This is what they call star seeds. We've been planted here during the time of awakening, during the time of resurrection, during the time of the passing of the Sarat. To guide our, our human brothers and sisters on the path of evolution. These messages you have in your hands are your essence testimonials. Now we ask you to keep them very well. In the groups where you read the messages, our friends who will write this book in their handwriting will not be exposed to any discomfort from now on. This book is a savior. Illuminate your surrounding by reading the messages you receive to everyone. From 1984 to the beginning of 1986, make an effort to bloom a flower in every country with your endeavor. The flowers will bloom in the following way. Our friend who has received and has written this message is the leader. By gathering six petals around her, she will form a six-petal daisy. That is, by dictating the messages to six people, the first center flower will bloom in this way. Only the names of those in the center flower will be notified to the Essence channel. Later with this system, the messages will be distributed to six and dissemination in the entire universe will be provided. Do not forget that your efforts will unify you all at the infinite up absolute and will submerge you in infinite happiness let us define this with an example in this way when a ship sinks the captain and the crew are at the last ones to leave their goal is to save the people who have fallen into the water in sequence first zero to seven age group then seven to fourteen age group will be saved then women and then later men now the lesson you should take from this is that in this final period of the 20th century there is a must to work without pausing for breath. From now on, you are friends to be called the sacred missionaries. Now everyone is cognizant of his or her mission and has the consciousness of what to do. The mission you perform now is to assemble all your terrestrial brothers and sisters under one roof as a necessity of the system. This process will bring together those who have been selected before. During the next two years, Wait, hold on. As a necessity of the system, this process will bring together those who have been selected before. You know time is not linear, right? <laughs> those who have been selected before. Yeah. So we've, yeah. That's, yeah, you understand. During the next two years, so yeah, I'm just going to say it. Like, we were handed our missions before we even came. That's what it means by those who have been selected before. During the next two years, the entire system will be established. Your lives afterwards will be happier and more comfortable. Do not forget that this is valid only for friends who fully performed their missions. After two years, your, diverse, your universal bond with the entire world will be established. The system will function automatically. The system does not stop where you stop. Special excuses excluded. You are given a credit of credit of 10 celestial segments. This means that 10 days. 
A day after that, the automatic computer will bring the missionary behind you into effect. This is announced with our love to all our missionaries. Pen of the Golden Age. I have finished Fascicule 1. I don't want to stop. Uh -huh. Why did it finish so fast? Uh, well, tomorrow then. I sure it was going to take longer than this. Okay. Hi. Don't stop. Robert! What are you doing here? <laughs> Robert, go away. <laughs> now, finish Fastic Q1. I'll read Fastic Q2 tomorrow. Robert, start your live. I'm ready to come to class. Robert. <laughs> Let me remove this green screen thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's what time is it? Um, can't see. Everybody's about to start, so I am going to be done. I'll be back tomorrow to continue reading now. I appreciate all of you coming, but we're supposed to get new people. Share the live. Let's get new people. I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Robert. I'm coming on your live. 800. 800? What does that mean, Robert? Welcome. Okay. All right. See you on Robert's. Bye.